welcome back to Tea and the Deep Blue Seed Weekly Species Spotlight Series. This week I'm going to be talking about the Blue Ringed Octopus. This is No Name here. If you would like to give No Name a name, let me know your suggestions down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. No Name's feeling a little bit sad at the moment. because he has no name. So if you could help me out and help give No Name a name, it would be much appreciated because I don't want a sad octopus who's highly venomous sitting on my shoulder. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Blue ringed octopuses, Hapalacalana. Blue ringed octopuses, comprising the genus Hapalacalana, are four highly venomous species of octopus that are found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from Japan to Australia. They are bottom dwellers and prefer sandy or silty substrate. They can often be found in tide pools or hiding in shells or even discarded bottles. Blue ringed octopuses are tiny, only around 10 to 20 centimetres, with a lifespan of around two years, but are highly venomous with no known antivenom. They can carry enough venom to kill 26 adult humans. Adult blue rings cannot ink, but carry two types of venom, one they use for feeding and the other they use for defence. This is TTX, or tetrodotoxin, which can kill in minutes by causing paralysis and respiratory failure. The bite itself is usually painless. Injuries often occur when they bite or get stepped on. Only three human deaths have been confirmed to be caused by blue rings in the past century. The toxin is produced by a symbiotic bacteria in their mouth. Although they are highly venomous, they are not an aggressive species. They are an ambush predator that feed on crustaceans and sometimes small fish. They bite with their parrot-like beak and use their venomous saliva to paralyse their prey. The blue ringed octopuses have a very striking appearance with iridescent blue rings. They are often very pale when resting and can be tanned to dark yellow in colour. If they feel threatened, they can brighten and flash their rings in as little as one third of a second. They live a solitary life and only go in search for a mate when they are ready to breed. The female will lay one clutch of eggs, usually around 50 eggs, and carry these under her arms rather than hanging them in her den, as is common with octopuses, for around six months. Shortly after the eggs hatch, the female will die. Those that survive will be mature and able to mate after around a year. She will insert her toxin into the eggs so that they are venomous upon hatching. Out of the four species of Hapacalana, three species, Hapacalana lunulata, Hapacalana maculosa, and Hapacalana fasciata, are least concern on the IUCN red list, and Hapacalana niastrazi is data deficient. They are at risk from habitat destruction and, surprisingly, the pet trade. Although I don't need to tell you I having one of these super cute but highly venomous and deadly animals as a pet is a very bad idea. I hope you enjoyed this week's Species Spotlight video all about the highly deadly but super cute blue ringed octopus. Thank you very much for watching. This is the last video in my week of octopus videos in celebration of National Octopus Day. I hope you have enjoyed all the celebration and learned loads about octopuses. What's been your favourite video? What's been your favourite fact you've learnt this week throughout the octopus videos? Let me know down in the comments, I would love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching, remember to like, comment down below, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and give no name here a name, please. See, you want a name. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye for now. Cheers.